Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of our electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A subcompact sedan from Nissan, the all-new Almera and a 7-seater MPV from Mitsubishi, the Expander GLS 4AT. Plus, a feature-to-feature comparison of two pickups, the Ford Ranger 2L Wildtrack 4x2AT versus the Mazda BT50 3L 4x2AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about fuel-saving devices and together with the latest use and developments in the local auto industry. We shall have the highlights of the Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists Driven to Serve Awards as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. If you are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Motul 2022 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds on May 26 and 29 for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. Shangan, GAC, Geely, Isuzu, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Kailangan ng maaasahan, kailangan ng matibay Pang matagalan, kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo Modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo Nang tatak na ito Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up mo ang iyong negosyo Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up with Isuzu Trap is Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Nissan. The year 2022 is turning out to be a year for practicality. As COVID-19 pandemic restriction ease, traffic is back to pre-pandemic levels. The Ukraine war is driving up fuel prices. Uncertainty continues to hunt down the economy. And so is the impending threat of another wave of COVID-19 virus after the elections. All these lead us to value more practicality in many things, including car ownership. And there's a subcompact sedan that takes a lot of boxes when it comes to practicality. The 2022 Nissan Almera. Times call for practicality. The price of fuel has risen to historic levels, so have the cost of many other things, including car ownership. But does practicality also mean staid and utilitarian? Not necessarily. Practicality can come with style and substance, including car ownership. A perfect example is the all-new Nissan Almera, the subcompact sedan that challenges standards of practicality. There are at least five reasons that make the new Almera the best practical yet stylish subcompact sedan that is ideal.
gone is the ungainly subcompact four-door five-seater sedan with a tated exterior and outmolded interior, replaced by a sleek and sporty-looking sedan with a V-motion grille. Boomerang is for taillights only in Almera. LED signature daytime lamps, kick-up C-pillars, floating roof. The top-of-the-line Almera looks especially sharp with N-Sport design front and rear bumpers, dark chrome V-motion grille, silver finish outside door mirrors, and the 16-inch N-Sport design alloy wheel strap by 205-55R16 tires. All new Nissan Almera is also especially perfect these days with fuel prices rises almost weekly. Underneath the hood of the Almera is a 1.0-liter turbocharged 3-cylinder engine that generates 100 PS at 5,000 revolutions per minute and 152 Nm of torque, numbers that are best in class. This made into an extronic continuously variable transmission that smoothly sends all the power and acceleration one needs to the front wheels, all the while providing exceptional fuel efficiency rated up to 23.3 km per liter. While maintaining the Almera's best-in-class ruminous and comfort, Nissan has upped the ante and interior design, comfort and convenience features as well as smart connectivity. This is highlighted by the Nissan Intelligent Mobility or NIM that provides monitoring and intervention technology giving car owners added driving confidence and safety. One feature of the NIM is the IAVM or Intelligent Around View Monitor with Moving Object Detection. Using four cameras, IAVM provides a virtual 360-degree bird's eye view around the Almera, making parking a breeze even in the tightest of spaces. This also provides visual and audible alerts of moving objects around the car. This is available in the VLN Sport and VE Almera variants. Practicality also means worry-free ownership. Nissan is offering the Almera with a 5-year warranty or 150,000km warranty, providing longer protection against unexpected repair costs. The Almera comes with a twice-a-year periodic maintenance service interval schedule compared to four times a year PMS of the competition. This saves Almera owners valuable time which can be spent on more productive or fun endeavors like enjoying long and fun drives. times of four practicality, Nissan is making the Almera more affordable with easier down payment terms. Buyers can save as much as 80,000 pesos for the all-new Almera VE variant with an all-in down payment for as low as 38,000 pesos through Nissan Finance. There is no better time than now to own a very practical and stylish subcompact sedan. A good advice is to head to the nearest Nissan dealership to check out and test drive the all-new Nissan Almera. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. 
The Motul 2022 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds on May 26 to 29 for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. Shangan, GAC, Geely, Isuzu, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. The Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Suzuki Philippines has rolled out the all-new Celerio, a bigger and more funky-looking hatchback than its predecessor. But beyond its eye-catching exterior, the all-new Celerio also claims being a more fuel-efficient hatchback. Narihide Take, Suzuki Philippines General Manager for Automobile, is confident the new Celerio will exceed expectations of customers who seek both practicality and individuality. The only Solarius evolved into a subcompact hatch that Suzuki says will make people's life easier, more convenient, and allow them to express their personality in an age where diversity is expected. In these times of costly fill-ups, Suzuki believes the all-new Solaria powered by a 1.0-liter K10C dual-jet engine which produces 67 horsepower and 89 Nm of torque will flourish. It cites how the Solaria achieved a 28.25 km per liter fuel efficiency rating and road tests observed by the Automobile Association Philippines. Suzu Philippines is on a roll opening more dealerships in more parts of the country. The latest addition to its rapidly expanding dealership network is found at the Subic Bay Freeport Zone in Zambales. Where the new Isuzu outlet standardization design, Isuzu Subic occupies a 5,000 square meter. Isuzu and Velocity Motor Sales Corporation XX conducted a walkthrough of Isuzu Subic which will feature a 5-vehicle showroom, service base for 8 light commercial vehicles, and 2 commercial vehicles, a wash bay, a wheel alignment facility, and slots for body repair and paint works. Isuzu Philippines President Hajime Koso explains the move to the industrial heartland. Businesses in the area can count on Isuzu's reliable and durable trucks to power their logistical requirements, Koso said. With Isuzu Subic providing utmost customer service, long-lasting relationship with customers who can move forward, he added. Isuzu Subic is dealer number 48 in the Isuzu dealership network. Let me take this opportunity to invite all customers, especially those residing in Subic, and areas nearby to please come and visit our new dealership located at Gateway of Subi, Malaming Suramatpo. The IS is the first model in the Lexus lineup to showcase LDS or Lexus driving signature. LDS defines Lexus' efforts to make the driver feel perfectly connected to the car from behind the wheel. Lexus lists the key elements of LDS as responsive and linear control with integrated throttle, brake and steering reactions, exceptional handling, grip and confident control in any condition, and refined ride quality and discernible quietness. Lexus International Chief Engineer Naoki Kobayashi describes how the IS became the first model to showcase the LDS ideal. The brand's chief engineers used the Shimoyama Technical Center test track, where the toughest and most challenging roads in the world have been recreated to fine-tune every aspect of the IS's character. Foremost in mind in developing the new IS was to make it a car that excelled in communicating with the driver, said Kobayashi. Lexus wanted the IS to be a car that enables the people to make new discoveries such as discovery that the longer the new IS is driven, the more one can experience the fun of driving. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. If you 
are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Motul 2022 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds on May 26 to 29 for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. Shangan, GAC, Geely, Isuzu, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Take the lead. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head pits two pickups that are more than just utility vehicles. The Ford Ranger 2L Wildtrak 4x2 automatic transmission and the Mazda BT50 3-liter 4x2 automatic transmission. Pickups are now considered more of lifestyle and utility vehicles, especially when it comes to those in the higher end of the market, like the Ford Ranger 2L Wildtrak 4x2 AT and the Mazda BT-50 3L 4x2 AT. The Ford Ranger 2L Wildtrak 4x2 AT is 5,354mm long, 1,860mm wide, and 1,848mm tall, with a 3,220mm long wheelbase and 232mm of ground clearance. The Mazda BT-50 3L 4x2AT is at 5,280mm long, 1,870mm wide, and 1,785mm tall, a few millimeters shorter, wider, and not as tall as the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2AT. It also has a shorter wheelbase of 3,125mm. The difference in dimension sometimes comes from wheel well cladding and bumper design, but most times functional exterior elements differentiate pickups from its siblings and the competition. The Ford Ranger 2 L Wildtrak 4x2 comes with all LED headlamps, daytime running lamps, front fog lamp, and puddle lamps. It is also distinguished by its black rear sports bar with saber inserts, roof rails, tailgate lock with tail lift assist function, auxiliary 12 volt power outlet on the load box, side mirrors with turn indicators that power fold and adjust, rain sensing auto windshield wipers, and 18 inch alloy wheel strapped by 265 60R18 tires. The Mazda BT50 comes standard with LED headlamps, fog lamps, intermittent windshield wipers, aluminum sidestep, bed liner, 17-inch aluminum wheels with silver finish, and 255-65R17 tires. The BT50 4x2 is distinguished by the signature Cardo front grille with black finish and body-colored power adjustable and folding side mirrors. The Ranger Wildtrak 4x2 AT comes with leather upholstery with distinct accent for the seats as well as the steering wheel. The driver's seat adjusts six ways manually, the front passenger seat adjusts four ways, while the rear bench seat comes with center armrests and fold-up function. The dash features dual-color 4.2-inch cluster screens and the cabin comes with ambient lighting and illuminated scuff plates. Comfort and convenience features include smart keyless entry with push-button start, dual-zone automatic air conditioning, power windows, electrochromic rear-view mirror, two auxiliary 12-volt power outlets, and 230-volt inverter in the rear console. Mazda describes the BT50 interior as SUV-like with seats upholstered in black fabric that complement the dark trim and finish of the cabinet. The driver's seat manually adjusts six ways, the front passenger's four ways. Covered and convenience features include remote keyless entry, power windows with one touch up, down function, single zone climate control system with manual controls and rear vents. The urethane steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features switches and buttons for audio and Bluetooth functions as well as standard cruise control. The Wildtrak infotainment system features an 8-inch color touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth with phone and audio streaming, Sync at 3 with voice-activated controls, built-in navigation system, USB ports including one mounted on the windshield and six speakers. 
BT50 4x2 audio system comes with a 7-inch LCD touchscreen with USB and Bluetooth connectivity, and with auto and wireless Apple CarPlay and 6 speakers. The Wildtrak 4x2 is powered by a 1996cc single turbo diesel engine that generates 180 PS at 3,500 revolutions per minute and 420 Nm of torque from 1,750 to 2,500 RPM. A 10 speed automatic transmission system sends that power and torque to the rear wheels. The Wildtrak suspension uses double wishbones with coil springs on the front and leaf springs on the rear wheels. The brake system features ventilated front discs and rear drums. Underneath the hood of the BT50 is a 2,999 four-cylinder DOHC diesel engine with intercooler and turbocharger that can generate up to 190 PS at 3,600 revolutions per minute and 450 Nm of torque from 1,600 to 2,600 RPMs. This is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission driving the rear wheels. The suspension system uses double wish mods in front and leaf springs in the rear. Ford outfitted the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2 with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability control, rollover mitigation and traction control, and hill launch assist, making the Wildtrak easier to park our front and rear sensors as well as rear view camera. Added for safety and security are airbags for driver and front seat passenger, side and curtain airbags, child seat isofix anchorage points, and volumetric burglar alarm system. The Mazda BT-53 L4x2 AT is equipped with anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control with traction control, Hill Descent Control, Hill Launch Assist, and the Massa Active Safety Technology that includes Lane Departure Warning, Autonomous Emergency Braking, Blind Spot Monitoring, Automatic High Beam Control, and Forward Collision Warning. Mazda's entry into the local pickup truck market has certainly makes it more interesting for buyers who have many good options to check out, or better yet, test drive. fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. If you are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Motul 2022 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds on May 26 to 29 for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. Shangan, GAC, Geely, Isuzu, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The COVID-19 pandemic has added more significance 
to this year's Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists, driven to serve awards, which recognizes outstanding corporate social responsibility programs of automotive companies and, for the first time, motorcycle manufacturers and distributors. The Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists has named the winners of the 5th Driven to Serve Awards, which recognizes outstanding corporate social responsibility programs of automotive companies and, for the first time, motorcycle manufacturers and distributors. And for the second time since the COVID-19 pandemic happened, the awarding of CSR programs that benefited and served communities was made via Zoom. It is the aim of the Driven to Serve Awards to inspire more companies to fund and implement more CSR programs that will bring more improvements to communities and will give people new hope that lives can be better through education, community development, environmental preservation, and road safety. This year, we have added another category, the COVID response category. In keeping with the challenges of the pandemic, where people have risen up to extend help to communities in extraordinary measures. We shall recognize those CSR programs this morning. The DTS Awards recognizes CSR programs in four distinctions, Platinum, Gold, Silver, and Bronze, with Platinum being the highest. This year, the Heart and Smile program of Isuzu Motor Philippines received the highest distinction, the Platinum Award in the Education category. Accepting the award by Izumo Snobuaki Kasugi, General Manager for the Sustainability Department of Isuzu Motors Limited of Japan, which funds the Heart and Smiles Scholarship Program for Philippine youth. To date, the Isuzu Testa Auto Mechanical Training Center has already produced 351 graduates. Uh, guided by the project program, uh, quality training, our commitment. Brightness future our gift. Let's assure that Isuzu Motors will continue to work hand in hand with Isuzu Philippines in providing scholarship to the Philippine youth. Uh, thank you very much to all of you. Uh, permit uh, prospectivity and good in good health for everyone. Maramin uh, Teramat Po. Also in the education and training category, Toro Motor Philippines received the gold award for providing the Polong Santa Cruz Elementary School in Santa Rosa, Laguna with the computers and other needs to be able to hold classes online during the lockdowns. In the community development category, Ford Group Philippines Building Healthy Communities got a gold award. A project share or Suzuki helps aids and rebuilds of Suzuki Philippines got a silver. In the road safety category, Ford Group Philippines Driving Skills for Life also got a gold award. Honda Cars Philippines Teens Smart Road Safety for Teens earned a silver award, and Suzuki Philippines Suzuki Safety Scouts got silver. The environmental awareness and preservation category, Honda Cars Philippines Bantay Bateria and Bantay Langis Project earned the gold award. In the new COVID response category, COVID-19 Relief Philippines of Ford Philippines and Mobility Support to COVID-19 Healthcare Frontliners of Toyota Motor Philippines earned the gold award. The Silver DTS Award was given to Honda Car Philippines Assistance to Medical Frontliners during pandemic and the Suzuki Philippines Libreng Sakai Program for Healthcare Workers. In the Motorcycle Division, the Silver DTS Award was given to Suzuki Philippines for their Suzuki Safety Riding Webinar Project. 
on the foundation's donation of 104 motorcycles to the Philippine Red Cross and donation of construction supplies to typhoon-affected houses in Catanduanes also earned a gold DTS award. For Suzuki Philippines, Suzuki Lens Raider J Crossover the Medical Frontliners Project was awarded the Bronze DTS. Automotive and motorcycle companies truly deserve recognition for how they have helped buoy the country's economy and communities during the COVID-19 pandemic. In their own ways, they provided vital transport under quarantine restrictions, whilst they are continuing other CSR programs that benefit communities and advocacy for sustainable development. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. If you are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Motul 2022 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds on May 26 to 29 for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. Shangan, GAC, Geely, Isuzu, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. This edition of Car Review provides a sneak preview of the new Mitsubishi Expander GLS 480 that will be arriving soon to Philippine shores. There's a new expander coming. It's already out on the roads of Indonesia and should be in the country in two months' time. Before its official arrival in the country, Sunshine Television, producers of Autofocus and Motoring Today, got the opportunity to take a look at the refreshed 7 seater MPV. Two variants of the refreshed Mitsubishi Expander expected the GLS and the GLX. Both are listed at 4,595mm long, 1,750mm wide, and 1,750mm tall with a 2,775mm long wheelbase and 225mm ground clearance. Mitsubishi has not been shy about making the Expander look more like an SUV. With new signature T-shaped head and tail lights, that redesigned horizontal front bumper, side sills, and a larger 17-inch wheels. The new Expander GLS features chrome dynamic shield grille, color-keyed front and rear bumpers in painted garnish, chrome beltline molding, silver-painted side sill garnish, power-folding chrome side-view mirrors with integrated turn light. It also comes with LED-type headlamps and front fog lamps with silver-painted bezel. 
the GLS and the GLX come standard with rear window defogger, LED type tail lamps, lift type tailgate, rear spoiler with high mount stop lamp, front and rear towing hooks, and shark fin antenna. The new Expander Sintir has been given a makeover that takes on more of the styling of Mitsubishi's SUVs. Quite noticeable is the dashboard with the Mitsubishi's horizontal axis design identity, as well as the soft padding accents that complement the soft door trims. The GLS Dash also features a colored multi-information display, monitor, and a white-lit high-contrast instrument cluster. The seats are upholstered in rich fabric. Both front seats slide and recline, with the driver getting a dial-type height adjuster. The tray underneath the front passenger seat should prove to be quite useful for storing knickknacks or valuables. The second row seat for three splits 60-40 and slides, reclines, folds, and tumbles. The third row seat for two splits 50-50 and can be reclined as well as folded fully flat. The GLS features some leather on their gear shift knob and lever, as well as silver and piano black accents on the floor center console box that also comes with an armrest. The three-spoke steering wheel on the GLS is also wrapped in leather. It also tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for audio system and cruise control. Mitsubishi has filled the new expander with many of the comfort and convenience features now standard in top-of-line MPVs or SUVs. These include keyless entry and engine push-start system, air conditioning with heater and digital controls for the GLS, as well as power windows and door locks, and electronic parking brake. The expander is also equipped with three 12-volt accessory outlets in the instrument panel, the floor console box, and in the third row quarter trim. Six cup holders and bottle holders on each of the four doors rear cargo storage box and convenience hook on driver's seat. The new Expander GLS infotainment system features a 7-inch smartphone link display, audio touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth radio tuner, a USB, and six speakers. The new Expander that is expected to arrive this year is powered by a 1,499cc engine, 4 cylinder 16 valve MIVEC gasoline engine that generates 103 horsepower and 141 Nm of torque. The GLS also comes with a 4 speed automatic transmission that drives the front wheels. The new Expander GLS rides a lot better than the one it will replace, able to absorb bumps and road imperfections with a lot less drama and less body roll around curves. This is probably because of the high-performance valves Mitsubishi installed in front and rear of the suspension system which uses front McPherson struts, coil spring with stabilizer and rear torsion beam. The brakes provide the same confident and predictable stopping power, using ventilated front discs and leading and trailing jumps in the rear. Adding to confidence in braking is the anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, as well as brake assist in the GLS. The new GLS coming to town is also equipped with active stability control, traction control and hill start assist. The incoming expander is also equipped with a surfeit of safety features including front SRS airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 7 with pre-tensioners in the front row, childproof locks, teether anchor, side impact beams, and laminated green glass. This early, Mitsubishi has revealed that the new expander coming to town will be available in 5 colors, including blade silver metallic, and prices will start at 1.03 million pesos. If you like the looks and the new features of the Income Expander, Mitsubishi dealers are now taking reservations. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we will be talking about fuel saving devices. Whether they work or do they or do they not? For as long as there have been gasoline engines and fuel that goes into our cars, there will always be people who will try to sell you fuel-saving devices. Now, the hallmark of these things are like the pyramid scheme. More power, better efficiency, better mileage. Sometimes they attach a number to it, up to 30%. And if they're really great, up to 50%. 
Then this is the latest in the long line of them. This is the Killer Power Box. This has been making the rounds of the various car clubs and as with every fuel saving device, the claims are always like this. More power, very satisfied customer feedback. Less usok. Okay, let's put it in the test, shall we? As with any claims of better power tests, we always put the car on the dyno because it's very simple. The machine doesn't lie. It cannot lie even if we wanted it to. We've actually seen a number of these things over the years that we've been doing. DOST and DOE actually certify us to do the benchmark testing for anybody who wants to market these things and wants to get a certification from them. So we're going to put this killer power box, install it on the engine, put it on the dyno and see that if it really does make power. And let's set the bar kind of low. We're happy with 10 horses. Doesn't need to be 30 horses, doesn't need to be 50. 10 horses will do fine. Absolutely no gain. <laughs> Voila. Zero gain. Absolutely none. <laughs> we'll do it one more time just to make sure and nobody can say anything. Yep, absolutely no gain whatsoever. <laughs> if you want to think about it, it's actually a slight power drop of about four horses. You will run into these kinds of devices on your Facebook feed, on your car groups, on your friends who will tell you that there's this latest power saving device. It's very simple. If they promise horsepower in double digit gains, fuel economy savings in also double digit gains, it is not true, don't even bother thinking twice. And then it is too cheap and too good to be true. It's definitely not true. So don't even bother wasting and asking, hey, does this work or not? And all of that. No, it's not. There might even, I've also seen some videos where they have some slick backstory about two college engineering students who were sued by the oil companies because their device saved fuel and all of that and the oil companies want to keep it buried. That's also not true and it's a 100% scam. Fuel saving device? Definitely not. There's only one place this belongs to and it's not your engine. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.